Hey everybody, what's up? It's Ruby, and today I have a fabulous find for you guys. I feel like I've been filming these a lot recently, but honestly, they're not gonna stop anytime soon because it's cold outside and it's my favorite time of year. So as I am filming this right now, it is the Sunday before Black Friday, so we are about five days away from Black Friday, but I did go shopping a little bit, so this is kind of like a pre-Black Friday fabulous finds because there were some sales going on at some stores around me that weren't gonna be going on on Black Friday, so I decided to start my shopping a little bit early, but there will be a Black Friday haul as I always do every single year, so don't worry, that's still coming. But like I said, I kinda did a bit of pre-Black Friday shopping, so without further ado, let's just get into the video. By the way, because I know I'm gonna get questions on this, my sweater and my hat are both from H&M. I'm obsessed with this hat and I've always wanted to wear it in a video, but I feel like I'm just so lame and I can't pull it off, but I'm just gonna wear it anyways because I don't have any makeup on right now, so I feel like this hat kind of distracts from the fact that I am barefaced. <laughs> so I ordered three books from Amazon, two of which are written by YouTubers, which is super awesome, but the other one um, is a cookbook. Also, I know that this is really random, but if you guys can't tell, I'm a little sick. I'm a little stuffed up. I can feel myself getting sick, and I'm kind of losing my voice a little bit, so if it sounds different, that's why. I'm trying like not to push it, but I can just feel it going, and I'm a little stuffed up. But recently, I've been really into just eating a little bit healthier, and if you guys don't know, I'm big into like health and fitness, which by the way, more health and fitness related videos are coming up on my channel, but recently, I've definitely been into trying to eat a little bit healthier, just be a little bit more conscious of what I'm putting into my body. And since I am a very, very busy, typical high school student, teenager, I don't have that much time to like cook good meals for myself. So I wanted to find a cookbook that had like healthy recipes in it that didn't take a long time, and so I found this. This is the Clean Eating Cookbook and Diet Book. Um, it has over 100 healthy whole food recipes and a meal plan in it. I just got this, so I haven't been able to make anything that's in the book yet, but I love it. It has like a bunch of like health um, food tips in it, and then it just has a bunch of recipes, everything ranging from, ranging from breakfast ideas, lunch ideas, dinner ideas, desserts. I'm a big smoothie person, and they have a lot of smoothie recipes in here, and I love it because it's all about like clean eating and like just kind of eating the best things you can put into your body. As for the other two books, I'm really, really late on the bandwagon for this one, but I finally got Connor Francis' book, A Work in Progress. If you guys don't know, Connor Francis is a YouTuber here on YouTube. He's one of my favorites to watch. I just love his videos. I love Instagram. Let's just, ooh, can we take a moment for his Instagram because it is a beautiful thing. But I think that he's a huge inspiration to a lot of us, and I've been really, really interested to read his book. And what I love is it has a lot of his photography in it, and I just, I love his pictures. I just think that they're so stunning. Like, look at that. It's a picture of, like, two cups of coffee, but it looks like a freaking, like, masterpiece. And then kind of going back to, like, the health and fitness book theme, I finally got Cassie Blogilotti's book, Hot Body Year Round. I'm so excited to use this and read this. If you guys don't know, Cassie or better known as Blog Pilates here on YouTube, makes a lot of fitness videos, or not a lot, that is what she makes. She makes uh, Pilates, like pop Pilates videos, and she also makes recipe videos, and so I absolutely love this. This is honestly one of the most beautiful books I've ever seen. You can just tell that she puts so much work into it, and so what I love is it's kind of separated by like season. It has workouts for like each season, and then recipes to go along with that, so um, since we're in the fall and winter time right now, I definitely want to try making some of these recipes. They just all look so, so, so good. Okay, so now on to one of my favorite places in the entire world, and I'm also probably going to be doing a ton of damage there on Black Friday because that's honestly when I shop there the most. I went to Bath & Body Works! There's something about their Christmas bags that makes me so happy, and they redid them this year, but they're so stinking cute, I cannot get over it. I really love Bath & Body Works, and I do most of my shopping there during the winter holiday season just because I love their winter turn holiday scents and they had a deal going on for one day only it's not happening on Black Friday which makes me super sad but I was really pumped that I could take advantage of it for today um, they had this great deal going on where for one day only all of their three wick candles were only $12 now if you guys don't know usually Bath & Body Works three wick candles are $22 each or they do like a two for 20 deal sometime but th that doesn't really happen anymore but for this day only they were each $12 so I picked up two I didn't bring a ton of money with me on this shopping trip because I want to save it for Friday so if I would have known that this deal was going on though I probably would have bought like 20 candles because that's just an insanely good price but I did buy two and they're the perfect like winter holiday sets. I can't wait to light them in my room. Oh my god, it's gonna smell so good. So like I said, I got two kind of winter holiday 
candles um, and I'm so 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 pumped about them I want to get one of those cute little like winter Christmas candle holder things because it goes with the new theme that I'm going for for my room um, but I'll probably go back and get that on Black Friday but the first candle that I got is winter because this is one of my absolute favorite scents I believe it came out last year and this year it's a new packaging and it's super cute and I just I love it um, because I suck at describing scents I'm gonna read you guys the scent description on the bottom but this says, a fragrance that captures the moment when glittering icicles and sparkling snow transform the landscape. Pine needles, icy mandarin, and winter woods. So if that scent description just left you even more confused, no need to worry, I will give you my description of it. It's probably gonna be worse than, you know, what the company gives you, but I'll try. This basically reminds me of a Christmas tree, but also like a little fruity, and it's just very, very warm. I honestly suck at describing scents, but all I can tell you is this smells so good. It just smells like winter. I know for a fact, because I've owned this candle before, it burns really, really, really strong. So it's awesome because I know sometimes like the way that certain bath, bath and Body Works candles smell in the container, it doesn't smell as strong when it's burning or it just smells like completely different, but this smells so good. I would highly recommend this candle. It's kind of like the winter version of leaves if that makes any sense, but leaves is a lot spicier. This is a lot more like, it just smells like a Christmas tree and like a fireplace and it's just, oh my God, it's so lovely. And then I was planning on getting a full size of Vanilla Bean Noel while I was there. Um, but they were out of like the super large ones, but they said that they were gonna get some more like on Black Friday and they would save one for me, which is super nice. I'm gonna go back and buy that. But kind of a scent that goes hand in hand with Vanilla Bean Noel, it's it's vanilla. Um, I got Vanilla Snowflake. I believe this is new this year. It's super pretty. Um, it's like this light blue color, which I love. It's like a Tiffany blue. And the packaging on front is super, super cute. It says, let it snow vanilla snowflakes this year with a delectable blend of creamy vanilla, wintry mint, and a dash of coconut. But there's a little dash of mint that you can smell in here. And then there's just the tiniest hint of coconut, which like usually you think of coconut as kind of like a Christmassy, or not a Christmassy scent. You think of it for like summer, but it's the smallest hint so you can't smell it unless you're like totally focusing on the scent so it's mostly vanilla um, but it's not as sweet as um, vanilla bean noel so if you're not a huge fan of bakery scents but you still like sweet scents I'd really really recommend this candle kind of an exciting purchase I mean not kind of it's actually really exciting for me at least um, I got a new pair of tennis shoes I have not gotten a new pair of tennis shoes in what seems like forever and to be honest, I just really had to get a new pair. It was time. I have a pair of Asics, which I love, and they were hot pink and they're super cute, but I've had them for years now and they're just not comfortable anymore. And so I really wanted to invest in like a super nice pair of tennis shoes because not only do I like wearing them to school on the days that I just kind of want to be casual, but I also love wearing them to like work out in and all that jazz. So I decided to invest in a nice pair of tennis shoes and I'm so pumped. So I actually got a pair of Nike tennis shoes, which I'm super excited about. I haven't had a pair of Nikes since I was like pretty, pretty young. And I don't really know why I stopped buying Nike shoes. It was just like anytime I wanted to buy a pair of tennis shoes, I would just end up walking out with another brand um, just because they had like a style that I liked better. But now that I'm older and I kind of wanted like a bit more of a um, mature tennis shoe, if that makes any sense. I definitely wanted to go with something simple and classic from none other than Nike. So I'm sure you all are very curious as to which shoes I got. And I ended up going with the Nike Free 5.0. So I believe these are like the Nike like free runs and these are like the newest version because I think that they come out with like a new version every single year. So these, yes, these are the Nike Free Run 5.0s. Um, they're super light, they're honestly incredible. They're just black and white and I really like how simple and like chic and sleek these look. So I'm super, super pump for those is probably like one of my favorite most favorite purchases that I've made in a really long time so good job Nike I love you and the last place I went was Ross and I got one clothing item there and then I got a few Christmas decorations for my room so the clothing item I got although it's not very wintry it's definitely gonna be like a staple piece in my closet I went through my closet recently and got rid of a bunch of clothes including like a ton of sweaters and dresses that's what I got rid of the most just because like I found that a lot of the sweaters and dresses I had were kind of just not my style anymore or they just didn't fit or they just didn't really look great anymore so I've been trying to kind of restock my closet and I found this beautiful just simple white dress it's in a small so the dress looks like this it's just this kind of like crisscross detailing 
on the front, um, kind of by the chest area, and then it just goes down to this pretty simple like white dress. Um, I really love it. It's kind of on the shorter side, but not like too short. It has a slip underneath because it is a little see-through, but I really love this. I think I'm definitely going to be wearing this a lot in like the spring to like parties, but it's super pretty. It's by the brand Espresso, um, and it's in a small, like I said, but it's super pretty, really elegant, super nice, and like it's just really plain, but there's something about a simple white dress that's just really, really nice. And with this little like crisscross detailing right here, super pretty. So good job, Ross. And then as for the Christmas decorations that I got there, the first of which being this little sign, and I absolutely love this. It was only $6, um, but it's like this wooden sign, and then on it in like a bunch of different fonts in red and green, it says, Merry Christmas, Noel, mistletoe, and the stockings were hung by the chimney with care. Oh holy night, joy, jingle bells, tis the season to be jolly, Santa Claus, naughty or nice, and deck the halls. And then I got two accent pillows for my bed, just because I didn't want to buy like Christmas bed sheets, although I've always wanted to do that, but I just think it's like kind of a waste of money because you're only going to use them for like two months and then you have to get rid of them, uh, or not get rid of them, but put them away for the next year. Uh, but I got two accent pillows and I figured I can just use these kind of like for years to come, every year kind of pull out my Christmas pillows. Um, and they were really, really inexpensive. So the first is this tan color and on it it has burgundy and white snowflakes and this was only $8.99 so really nice. Ross had a ton of super cute accent pillows not just for Christmas but just like for all year round so I really want to go back there because I'm still looking for some accent pillows for like my new bed layout um, but it's super cute I really like it super plush and I just I highly enjoy it. And then I got this pillow, which was $9.99. So yeah, both of these pillows were under $10, which is absolutely amazing. And it's just this white pillow with like little red pom-poms on it. And then in this cute little font, I just hit myself in the head, it says jingle all the way. It's kind of a long pillow, which I really, really like. And I just, I love that it's white and red because it's just really nice, fun holiday colors. And I just, I love the way that this looks. I think it's the cutest pillow ever. Both of them are. So good job, Ross. I just think it's so adorable and I can't wait to put them on my bed. I'm gonna hang the sign and put the pillows on my bed directly after this video, and I'm so pumped. Okay guys, and that wraps up my fabulous finds. I really hope that you all enjoyed. It's kind of weird because I think my Black Friday haul is gonna be up before this video, just because of the way like my video schedule is gonna work out, and I still have like another fabulous finds to upload before this. It's just, it's very, very confusing. But I hope that you guys enjoy my Black Friday haul if it's up before this. I think it's going to be though, just because the way my video schedule works out. Um, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, help me get to a thousand. It would mean the world to me. Follow me in all my social media networks. Links are always in the down bar below. I am now going to drink some tea and probably take some cold medicine because I can feel my nose getting stuffy and my throat getting tired and it really sucks. I will talk to you all in my next video and I hope that you guys are having a great day, night, afternoon, whenever you're watching this. And I love you all so much. Bye guys.